Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I last uploaded a video. I think it's been almost two years and I really wanted to upload a video or two before this year ended. Um, I've been dying to and I've been planning videos and things, but I just haven't had the opportunity to film a video for you guys. So last year, um, I started a new job and I really have been really, really busy with that job. So I, I, I even take work home on the weekends to do. So it just hasn't allowed me time to really sit down and film something for you guys. But I have been thinking about um, video ideas and what I want to film. And there's just so much that I want to share with you guys, but it just, I just haven't had time. With that said, I still want to post at least uh, two videos for you guys before 2019 ends. And this is going to be the first of that. Um, hopefully this is kind of a decent comeback video. Um, and as you guys see from the title and from the video cover, it is going to be a designer handbag. So I picked up this um, Saint Laurent handbag during the Black Friday sales. Well, actually, it was probably, I think, before Black Friday when I picked it up, but the sale went live before, I can't remember, it was Thanksgiving week. I purchased this from Essence, which is an, a Canadian online retailer for luxury goods. And I had been thinking about this bag for some time and debating it and was not expecting it to be on sale. But when I saw that it was, I decided to purchase it and I've been using it since then and I am totally in love with this bag. So without much further ado, let's just uh, review the bag. So it is the Saint Laurent tri-quilted envelope bag in the medium size. And this is um, a taupe color. I believe this is the dusty gray color. However, on the Essence website, they just call it taupe. And then the little uh, slip that I got with it just says taupe as well. Um, but basically, I love the three different type of quilting on it and um, that is why I bought it. So I'd seen this design in store um, a couple of times and it just always caught my eye. I debated whether this was a classic enough appearance because of the um, contrasting quilting, but it was just so much more appealing than the other, you know, one type of quilting, which I think generally is the chevron style. I can say that the chevron probably is way more classic and this one is probably kind of like maybe the Le Boy Chanel bag because that one has um, kind of a more distinct and edgy feel to it and I feel that way about this with the three different quilting patterns but I was so drawn to this and when I, when I saw it in this taupe color online I just thought maybe uh, it will showcase the quilting better than the black does so I picked it up in this taupe color and it is just gorgeous i was afraid that it was going to be too dark and i don't know if the camera is picking it up well it looks a little bit um, taupier maybe than it does in real life um because i think it's a little bit more nude taupe in real life so again i think this is the dusty gray because i did buy the little card holder in the taupe color as well and it came in with a little sticker that says dusty gray and it matches this so love love this color um, i think it's such a beautiful neutral more about this bag um this is again the medium size and i really think it is a great size for an everyday bag um, i can't remember the dimensions but i'll plop it in the um, description bar area and you guys can check that out but basically i debated between this medium and the small i initially thought i would go for the small because it was a really good crossbody size, which is what I generally would wear the bag as. Um, but the medium was on super sale or pretty decent sale on Essence. So I got the medium instead. And the reason why I, if I bought it again, I probably would still buy a medium is because of the double leather strap on the chain. So this bag um, and all the bags, it comes in a small, medium and large, have um, a beautiful chain. And the medium and the large have the double strap options. Okay, the, the small one only has one um, leather strap and it only has two grommets at the top. So this one has the four grommets, two on each side, but the small one only has one on each side. And so the way you would double up is a little bit differently. This one you can double up really easily by pulling the leather straps um, up from the top and then it becomes kind of like a shoulder bag, which looks kind of like that 
And then um, you can also just pull one strap up and it is a cross body or long shoulder bag. And then it has like this kind of top handle look. So it looks, it looks pretty cool like that. And um, I've used this that way as well. The small one, because it only has the two grommets and the strap, you're gonna have to pull the chain from um, under the flap and over to kind of convert it into a shorter strap. And so the chain will probably um, hang out from here. But anyways, the envelope style, which is a pretty common style for Saint Laurent, um, opens up with a magnetic flap. And the magnet is really strong and really easily um, finds itself. So sometimes I just like grab it like that and it uh, connects and closes. So the snap magnetic closure is pretty strong and it fits really well. Um, so it just has one simple inside compartment like this, one large compartment with a little back flap here. It's black leather lining on the inside and um, it's a really structured bag which I like and as you can see I do have some stuff which is basically what I normally carry plus my phone and then keys and that's about it. So it does fit everything quite well for me. I think some people have said it might be too small for them and for me anything bigger than this is probably too big. So um, it's it's just a nice size. Um, and here I have the card holder, which um, I was talking about, and they, they basically match really well. So I'm thinking this is the dusty gray color because the card holder is a dusty gray color. And um, the gold, I was worried about the gold hardware that it was going to be too shiny and bright. And it kind of does look like that in the video. However, in real life, it still is a shiny gold, but I don't think it contrasts extremely against the bag where it's really in your face. So I like that. I'm a gold jewelry wearer, so I was obviously going to get the gold hardware. And then the back just has this big slip pocket here. But I haven't really used the back yet because it's still kind of a snug fit um, generally. And because I don't have much in the bag, um, it does allow it an easier access to that. But I think if people stuff it, and because the structure of the bag is pretty stiff, um, it might be harder to access that back pocket. So I haven't really used it. Again, I don't carry much, so I don't really need to make sure the compartments um, are easily accessible and organized well so that it fits all my items. Um, but I have been loving this bag so much and I really, really want it in the black or the dark gray, although I haven't seen the dark gray in real life, so I don't know what color it really looks like in real life, but people have said it's beautiful. So I'm just <laughs> waiting to catch the black one on sale on Essence. I'm gonna buy it because um, I really want a black designer bag in my collection and I think this it for me it's gonna be um, something that I'm gonna use for years to come just because the shape is classic the quilting is um, sufficiently classic for me but with a little bit of a toy so it's not so boring and uh, yeah I'm in love it's exciting and I just have to convince myself not to get this in every color all right, guys, thanks for joining me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully it was a really quick video uh, that you guys weren't expecting too much for this first video from my long break. But um, the next one, I'm hoping I'll do some sort of a haul for all the Black Friday things that I purchased. So be on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.